thank you for coming on so short notice. Well, to make a long story short, there is a particular matter that, that is? the Knights requires your assistance with. Uh, yes, it has been one thing after another recently. I have recently received multiple reports from the Knights of someone with really again. Oh, no. But who are the there was a dark period in Mondstadt's history when the aristocracy ruled over the city. The uh. first Dandelion Knight, Vanessa spearheaded the revolution that overthrew the old arist uh, aristocrats right. that had oppressed the people of Mondstadt. Oh, Paimon gets it. So the clan's just... We suspect as much, though we have yet to obtain any solid evidence. The reason I summoned you here... <laughs> Unfortunately, the Knights of Favonius and me... We've already considered every possible way of resolving our differences, but it seems... You're sure about that? that? No matter what stance we take when dealing with them, the outcome is always the same. We could come knocking on their door on the grounds of a search warrant, but if the investigation were to come up empty, I'm afraid tensions and distrust would only increase. All of our past efforts would have been wasted. You are in fact the best candidate to represent Strange. the knight, but you need not emphasize your role as the honorary knight. Once you come to friendly terms with the Lawrence clan, you should- Whoa! Mm -hmm. <laughs> Perhaps such plans have become the name of the Lawrence clan member in question is Schubert. Lately, he can often be found. It is okay. said that he is difficult to get along with due to his temperamental disposition. Thanks again for your help. Hello? Huh? Who are you? Who are you? Hello? Where is Hello? What's wrong? Yes. Huh. And I suppose you think that you can simply strip given that I don't recognize you. I can only assume that you are a traveler of some variety. Mm. If you wish to address me, you best consider your words more. C now, if you're somehow capable of understanding anything I've said, then you will get down. That dead again. What a grim one. Never heard of some huh. In former times, when people knew their place and respected traditions, such conduct Dead. was only You're not a nobleman anymore. You're just a crouch. And neglecting your manners would result in a swift whipping. Oh. But look at the world now. Rules have been thrown to the wayside and manners <laughs> forgot. What did you say? You dare question the dignity Question your dignity. I'll have you know that though the Lawrence clan is in decline, myself and others of noble blood are looking for a chance what to honor. restore our rightful honor. Just look around. The people are unruly and undisciplined. I, however, strive to retain the elegance and etiquette of the noble sure. clan. Sure. After all, we oh, are God, a completely man. different It's full of it. Save your words. I find your manners and bearing <laughs> repulsive. Besides... I am in no way obligated to instruct commoners on basic courtesies. Did you poop your diaper or something? Now I have more pressing matters to attend to. Oh, so this is what Master G meant by difficult to get along with. Oh, get back and talk things over with her. Oh, Amber. Well, if it isn't the honorary knight, I'm just on my way out to gather some. In huh? Judging by your expression, you must have run it. Master Dean tasked us with a special assignment. <laughs> thanks, thanks. No need to get down on yourself. Okay. Sometimes you just have to keep at it and never give up. <laughs> hey, Master Dean mm. asked us to build a connect, but it turns out that he's the peculiar. Aha, uh -huh, Schubert. I know him. Let me guess. Yeah. On the receiving end of his lectures many a time. The Lawrence, uh, you mean everyone in the Lawrence? As no. aristocrats, they believe there should be a certain distance between themselves and common folk. However, there is one exception mm. among the Lawrence clan. My good but oof. Buddy? That's <laughs> right. Not only is she from the Lawrence clan, but she's also captain of the Knights of Favonius Fourth Company. You're mm. special. She's not quite like the other members of her clan. In other words, okay. she doesn't really adhere to this. However, she's still quite knowledgeable about dealing with the Lawrence. Hmm, that's strange. <laughs> if you are as a mem- Uh, well, it's a little complicated. Basically, the Lawrence <laughs> clan is frowned. In their eyes, Eula is nothing but a traitor to the family. She's very easy no. to get along with. 
Just explain the situation. In fact, I think she's out in the wilderness on patrol this morning. Thanks, Amber. Oh, good luck, you two. I've got my own. Cool the fish. It's nice to have a member of the Lawrence clan. Yeah? If you want to learn about the conduct of the Lawrence clan, who better to ask than one of their own family members? Waiting. Last of them. Okay. They're slightly under trouble. I'll do. Oh no. She's fast. <laughs> you don't think twice before reaching for your sword, do you? <laughs> no. You and now you get to stake a claim. <laughs> you think you're stronger because you got to them. Uh what are you on about? That's right. I heard the commotion and came as swiftly as I could. Only to find if I didn't make my move, you would have been able to take all the credit. Still, I'm glad you're unscathed. <laughs> Confronting that number of Fatui at once can be dangerous. Uh, sorry, but concerned? Mm -hmm. Why would I be concerned for this? Arch enemies? Wait a minute. By which I mean, if you were injured, I'd have to escort two strangers, which would mean you'd cause me even more trouble. Huh? So that's <laughs> how you see all this? Yes, that's me. Hyman thinks she's pretty strange. Yep. Do you dare to call someone you've just met strange? Speaking of which, <laughs> this is the honorary knight of the Knights of Favonius. Mm. Speaking of rude, for trying to invest me so obsessed with etiquette. <laughs> I understand yep. now, but why do you mean to investigate him? Huh, I see. Mm. <laughs> you have some nerve. No, no, no. This is an assignment from Master Jean. It's just an investigation. So the everyday yeah. citizens of Mondstadt. Everyone in the Lawrence clan is scum. Hard to avoid such a reputation when you're no... Oh, so that's what you think of me? <laughs> Didn't you see him first? <laughs> <laughs> Curious. We've only just met. And you've already given me three causes for vengeance. It's just Why weird. I've encountered anyone as I assume you need me to teach you the conduct of the Lawrence clan. That's right. Mm. Amber well then, let's begin your training immediately. It'll be easier to train when we're back in Mondstadt. We'll require other people. We can mm. set aside for now. Besides, if it's the... There's no wait, uh. hold on. There's something we need to clear up first. Otherwise it'll <sighs> so that's still on your mind, huh? Maybe you're <laughs> don't worry. There's a time and place <laughs> for exacting vengeance. Uh you need to be in the right mood. I already have a long list of vengeance to exact. Even if I wanted to begin who knows how long it will be before I get to you. <laughs> oh. Well, if you have so much Absolutely not. Stealing my targets, calling me a ruthless ruler. And suspecting my uncle. All worthy of vengeance. Eh. But you needn't worry. At least, not whilst we're investigating this matter. I'm sure if Uncle Schubert didn't commit any wrongdoing, but if he did commit a wrongful act, then he should. Mm. I'm sure you understand. Sure. Good. Now, there are two key points that are. Let's begin with your manner of speech. Aristocrats have a very. Oh, Paimon's already learned some. You Mark my words. Vengeance will be. Mine. That's not. What she meant. Not even close. And besides, 
Besides, it sounds strange. Yeah, that's you sound like. Hey, Paimon learned it from you. It seems you don't respect the rules of your own clan. No, uh -huh. I have no need to trouble myself with such frivolous formal. For example, when greeting a friend, you could say, "As the morning dew greets the coming dawn." Okay, that's just mouthful, and I don't care about it. However, such a phrase may only be used during the morning hours. Also, the party's morning dew is not uncommon, so it expresses that friendship should not be measured by value, yet also suggests that friendship between aristocrats is pure. Oh, no, no, no. You must be prudent with your words. Calling someone... Uh, but didn't you just say, my dear... Yes, I did. <laughs> you must know in the Lawrence family, dear friend is a set... It sounds much more pleasant to call an acquaintance a dear friend. So, another thing to remember. Okay. Um, if you were to use dear friend to address an intimate friend, the recipient would think that you were deliberately trying to estrange them. This is only uh. the first step in making a greeting. Wait, wait. This is... Um, perhaps it would be better... Ah. Very well. Come with me. We'll choose some by... I trust you. This is not going to end well. <clears throat> you there, lowly laborer. You stand and please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the noble. Huh? I can't make heads. Yeah. Hold on. What did they always teach me? Whenever a dispute arises, protection of your family's prestige and. <sighs> Got it. <clears throat> As a lowly commoner. You... Ugh, is everyone from the Lawrence clan so strange? Yes. The days of the Lawrence clan's tyranny have long passed. I don't care what you're trying to do. Just beat it. Like I said, I don't care what you're doing. I have nothing to say to any member of... And here's a word of advice. I wouldn't be caught dead walking too... That's all, I'll be going. I'm afraid I won't be able to control... Hey, hey! Don't leave! Uh, halt! Sure. Wow. The Lawrence game really... <sighs> Never mind him. I could have predicted as much. <clears throat> you there, lowly toiler. You st please acknowledge the glory bestowed upon thee by the. <sighs> <sighs> Why don't you respond? According to the. Ah, right. I mustn't look at you too long, or I'll be drawing more attention. <sighs> I don't think you can hear you. You may spare yourself the formality of kneeling, as it may be a little. Hey, stop bothering me, or else I might say something. Then again. I've got no words for anyone from the Lawrence clan. Again? What's with this attitude? Yes, I don't think his attitude will change. If I keep grandstanding like this, the outcome won't be... Hm. I'll remember your unwilling... She needs a new hobby. There, lowly worker. Yeah, I've already heard it all before. Look, just spare me the time. Our answer's all we I mean, seriously, can't you just take a hint? Please calm down. We don't want to cause uh, I know she's a knight of Favonius, and that the knights wouldn't misplace it even to this very day. The descendants of the Lawrence clan are and if that wasn't enough, here you are purposefully using your off <sighs> You have a but mark my words, this transgression will <laughs> Huh? You want to fight? Listen here. I may be no match for you. I'm sorry, but I want her to un- Listen here. If you don't want things to get- Forget it. There's no point in quarreling. <sighs> it's all right. Huh. This happens quite often. Uh, Paimon, actually, Paimon thinks we should apologize for asking you to demonstrate for us. <laughs> what can we do? The Lawrence name is already a dirty word among every household in Mondstadt. Even three or... <sighs> Don't worry. What with me being a knight of Favonius, perhaps my aristocratic manner of speech provoked... So this is the way things are normally for you? That's the way things are. Yeah. Perhaps it's just fate for those who have made mistakes. Accepting punishment is... As memories are carried in the city breeze, the faults of such grievances are past. At least I have a means of living a relatively normal life compared to the elders of my family. 
Oh, Sarah, why weren't you so willing to try and demonstrate? Oh, that reminds me. That last person will not escape my vent. <sighs> Let's leave it at that. Just think, but unfortunately, okay. you probably didn't learn much from those conversations. It seems. Uh, no need. Besides, the traveler's pretty sharp, and nothing. Right? Right? We'll just have to roll with it for now. Let's just keep Eula from getting anyone. Well, then, I'm glad you learned something. You're already half a proper manner of speech is more aesthetic than anything else. It stands sure. you must also practice your bearing. I have a very effective way of training for this. It's so if you wish to truly achieve the dignified, for example, you can see that part of the but a well trained aristocrat would not only effortlessly proceed forward. Hyman thinks okay. we've left the realm of a risk compared to what we've already seen. This should be a piece sure. of cake. <laughs> you look all right. Let's get started. Remember, you must. Here. Give up. Hey. Huh. Um. Not bad. A lot better than I have. <laughs> no. Don't flatter yourselves. This scenario was relatively simple. There's a ley line monolith just up ahead that will. True elegance is the ability to calmly yet swiftly make decisions in the heat of battle. <clears throat> My family set only the highest. Let's proceed. This is the ley line monolith. Go ahead, activate it. But be careful not to get launched into the air or frozen while fighting. That would be most unsightly. Try not to enjoy this too much. Don't waste my time. You managed to remain calm even in this grueling drop given such an outstanding performance. Like Simon said, uh, <laughs> so this is. Mm. Hold on. I was commending the traveler's performance to. Uh, <laughs> what? You mean Pine? Yes, of course. You were frantically flying and dashing up. Did you even listen to anything I was trying to teach you? Yeah, that's it. Mm. It's too. Whatever the reason, not heeding my instructions. A cup. Huh. Now. What is it? What is it? Certainly not. It's warm milk. Didn't you just say that you were freezing? Oh, uh, thank you. Yes. If I wasn't, then why would I care about you being cold? If you turned into a Paimon popsicle, that would ruin my... So, dear friend, don't die on me out here. Ah, Paimon knew something was off. All in the name of vengeance. No need to... Now then, given that your training is... Comp I already have something in mind. Let's pay Sarah a visit. Sure.
Okay, it's back. We meet again, Amber. Seems we're just well. I just got back. I was thinking about grab very well. It's been some. Come, take a seat. <laughs> yes. Is there something else you'd like to order? Could you please prepare a serving of my uncle's favorite, Gebratenes Fleisch mit Salz? Coming right up. <laughs> It'll take some time. Hold on a moment. Is this satisfying salad? No, she didn't order it. But because she didn't order any that So, we clearly didn't order this. Yet you prepared it without- Uh, you're gonna get- Seriously? You should know me by now. That's the kind of villainous character I am. Well then, uh, please wait. <laughs> Delicious unauthorized delicacy. <laughs> Sarah will pay- Why would you choose get brought to this flesh with sauerkraut as a gift for your- This okay. gift isn't actually on Good Hunter's menu. Only long-standing patrons such as my uncle would know because of the sour flavor of the sauerkraut. Mm. Not too many people are fond of it these days. Eula treated me to the dish once, and I couldn't even finish a bite. I've nicknamed it Gebratenes Fleisch mit Vengeance. I never expected us to have such completely different tastes <laughs> of food. If I weren't in such a good mood, I'd say that. Of oh. course not. It's hard to find someone in mind. <laughs> it's fine when you're just joking between us. Eula's always mm. talking about vengeance, but that's... But I am serious. And I'll remember every transgression committed against me. Ugh, mm -hmm. I'm on starting to realize that Eula is actually a very good person. There's no need to be mm. so awkward when you want to... <sighs> Listen, you've never been labeled... Uh, well... So <laughs> that's why you wouldn't understand how hard it is for a bad person to try to be good. Alright, no need to look so sullen. I'm just kidding. <clears throat> oh, I'm stuffed. I'll see Sarah. No need. I've left the Mora under the plate. If you try to settle it with her in person, she won't accept payment for the salad. Okay, I think disconnect and reconnect it. Don't underestimate my ability to exact revenge. All right. Next, you should pay my uncle a visit. He has <clears throat> a small camp. Nope. I'm afraid that wouldn't be very convenient for me. Ah, yes. Please do remember to pick up. I still have more recon to do in the wilderness. Let's meet again. Here, uh. the Gabratinus flesh with sauerkraut is. And by the way, don't worry too much when you are. Uh. I must have been meaning to ask. No one could stand this, but she seems to get along fine with you and the people of Mondstadt mm. don't take kindly to. They are unable to see past her family, so no matter what Eula tries to do, it's seen as a wrongdoing. It essentially mm. strips the meaning of anything she tries to accomplish. How come you're able to see you? Well, when she joined the Knights of Fafonius, it caused uh. many people signed a petition demanding. At the same time, numerous members of the Lawrence clan crowded the entrance of the Knights of Fafonius. Whoa! So both yep. sides. That's right. So you can imagine how determined, but thanks to Grandmaster Varka and the unwavering attitudes of others in the Knights of Favonia, in the eyes of the people, she's a stain on the Knights of Favonia. And but she simply fulfills her duty as a knight. People like Eula should be approached with care and understanding. She could stand to be treated a little more fairly. I believe the day will come when once everything's settled, we should go talk to Eula again. I'm glad. I think that would okay. take care.